Now, over in Geneva last Thursday, Senusha's prominent representative to the United Nations was held to account for Senusha's human rights record. During her submission, she said the government has made concrete and dedicated efforts to safeguard and disadvantage the vulnerable and abused children. In 2012, a National Action Child Protection Committee was established with the goal of coordinating and reporting on the implementation of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. As stated in our country report, it is the intent of the government to provide the committee with adequate human, technical, and financial resources to effectively implement and coordinate comprehensive, coherent, and consistent child rights policies in line with St. Lucia's obligation under the CRC. Child-friendly budgeting was introduced under the auspices of the Ministry of Finance to increase and better allocate funding for youth-related matters. On the issues of concern, one of the issues of concern rather to the United Nations Human Rights Council's periodic review working group is the practice of corporal punishment in St. Lucia, particularly by the state's endorsement, given that principals and teachers by law can administer the form of punishment to students. With respect to the relationship between corporal punishment and children, it should be noted that the introduction of St. Lucia's child-friendly school program in many educational institutions have embraced alternative methods of disciplining students as opposed to the use of corporal punishment. Furthermore, with the ongoing reform of the juvenile justice system, whereby laws pertaining to children and juveniles are being reviewed, one of the areas which will undoubtedly be considered is the use of corporal punishment on children. Ambassador Minister Rambali added that the matter of life imprisonment applicable to minors is now up for consideration under the Juvenile Justice Reform Program with a view to repeal.